Hello everybody and welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts and welcome back to another Taskmaster Challenge. My name is Spartan Elite 43 and as always my competitors are Stealth 17 Gaming, History Guy Gaming, Brother Monroe, Every Day is Different, and The Serious Strategy Gamer. Now we enjoyed last week's challenge so much being a team challenge that we decided let's go ahead and run that back except with a few more twists. Now the good news is I got the same partner. We've got History Guy Gaming as my partner. We are going to be the Spanish Empire. And we will be 1927 tech. A maximum of 15,000 tons. You get two ships. And the challenge, you must decide who will use their torpedoes as their primary weapons and who will use guns. Now, I got to choose first in the last one, so History Guy got to choose this time. He chose torpedoes, so that means I have main armament, or my main guns as our guns. So, we are going to have to uh, try to win this solely with guns. Now, he's going to build the torpedo boat. And for us, we have to have at least 15 gun barrels on our cruiser. So that's going to be a bit of a stretch for a cruiser. This is a heavy cruiser, and we only get 15,000 tons to play with. So we are going to have to have everything in order to try to get 15 guns on this thing. It's going to be, it's going to be interesting. It's got to be main guns. Can't, it can't include secondaries. As far as the, uh, the 15 guns, you have to have at least 15 guns. But I think we'll be okay. All right. So, uh... Our enemy is going to be 1920 Britain. It's going to be one battle cruiser, one cruiser armored, so one heavy cruiser, and two cruiser lights, so light cruisers, and two destroyers. And the tie break will be the total structural integrity combined left on the team, if anybody survives. That's assuming people survive. It's going to be interesting. There are going to be four total ships per team and so it's gonna it's gonna be an interesting fight now i don't think we're gonna have too much trouble i think we're gonna actually do okay but uh you know all it comes down to in the end is whether or not we get lucky that's gonna be the killer so we only get one heavy cruiser platform for spain and the maximum tonnage we can take up to fifteen thousand tons so we're going to be taking it up to fifteen thousand ton Oop, too far. Right there. 15,000 ton. Now, that was one of the requirements met. We can go no higher than 15,000 tons, but by golly, you better believe we're going right up to 15,000 tons. Uh, range, we're going to drop that down. The bulkheads, we're going to bring all the way up to maximum. And this is just a baseline. We are going to be changing this most likely uh, because God knows we're going to be needing everything. Let's go with our double-geared steam turbines. we we'll go oil boilers with force boilers. The best auxiliary. The best shaft. The best armor that we can get. Barbettes. Anti-torpedo. Triple hull bottom. Reinforced anti-flooding. Citadel... We're going to go with a turtleback armor scheme, I believe. Though I do kind of want the all or nothing. All or nothing is kind of a a good thing. Except we are not going to be sitting at range. We're going to be getting close. So we're going to be using turtleback. Okay. Uh, we are going to use tube powder. Because we're need, we need all the penetration that we can get. Uh, hydraulic turrets should be fine for a cruiser. Um, we're not allowed to use torps, so we don't have to worry about that. And then I don't know if I even want, like, enhanced or auto or any of this. Because while it does give you better, uh, rate of fire, in the end of the day, it, it also limits your gun aiming speed because the turrets get heavier. Uh, it also adds to your hull weight, and it adds to the overall weight. So, like, there's just a big negative. Plus, it can also cause, like, uh, other issues, too, I believe. 
but we're going to leave it. And as far as like electric, we don't want to go with electro because it actually increases your chance for flash fires. So, which is not something we want. But uh, you can see here we could we could get away with uh, the advanced hydraulic. But I don't think we need to. So we're going to save that weight. What we do need is to get the best guns that we can get. Do we want long range accuracy or do we want base accuracy? I'm thinking that we go with the base accuracy because we're not going to be staying at long range. I don't exactly know what this game considers to be long range. So I think we want to go with the higher aiming speed and the better base accuracy. So we're going to go with the uh, coincidence range finder in this case. Uh, acoustics, we definitely want to be trying to have some, some hydro because uh, I don't know if we want to go hydrophone or if we want to go sonar though. We get a pretty good boost here, but for 5%, that's 8%, 9%. 45 to 65. Let's just go with a Hydro 2. You know, pretty straightforward. Nothing crazy. We don't need a radio, so we're not going to put a radio. I don't think that the radio actually does anything in this game yet. Uh, the RDF does. It gives you uh, radar generation 1. But uh, we generally go with radar anyway, so uh, we can't get the Gen 2 radar, but we can get Gen 1, so we will use that. Uh, that also boosts our gun aiming speed, uh, gun long range accuracy, as well as all of the other good things. Now, let's go ahead and throw our tower in. We've got aiming speed and base accuracy, so this is just better, so obviously we'll throw that in there. I want this front tower to be as far back as possible because we are going to be trying to get as much over the bow as we can. Uh, that worked really well for us in the last one. So here we have plus 14 aiming speed, 13. It's not that big of a difference in weight, so we'll just go ahead and keep it. All right. Now funnels. We're not the fastest in the world, so we should be able to get away with just a regular advanced funnel, I would imagine. Uh, that gives us 89.4, so we don't necessarily need more than that. What, what is this? 1142 versus 811. Yeah, see, I don't want to add another 300 tons to get that extra capacity. So I think we're just going to go with the single stack, dead center. Um... And now we go for guns and armor. Uh, barbettes are going to be a thing. And we will try, anyway, to do like a... See, that's for secondaries. Super firing barbet. That's new. Throw that in there. And if we go with a... Uh... Wait. Let's get rid of that. Let's go with the tall, superimposed barbette. And can we then get the super firing? Ah, uh, we can't. It's so close, though. Okay, how about a uh, short barbette? Nope, can't get that. Oh, that's for secondaries. Never mind. Medium superimposed? Yeah, it can't quite fit it. That's unfortunate. It's unfortunate. All right, so how do we work around this? Well, if we can only do that, let's just go with a uh, medium superimposed barbette, I guess. Or we could go with the super... Like, that just looks awfully large. I'm trying to think. Just go medium. All right, and then I don't think we're going to need one at the rear, so let's go main guns. Now, we have not even put any guns on this thing, and we're already close to weight, which is not what I want, because we need a lot of guns. Um, now, here's the deal. We're going to be closing within 10 kilometers, or 10, yeah, 10 kilometers, more than likely. 
So what is our accuracy? 3.7 versus 3.4, or no, 1.4. So the 9-inch guns look pretty good and are probably what we are going to go with. Uh, now, we know if we go with three barrels that we get a negative bonus or a debuff to our accuracy that is ridiculous. So we're going to go away from three barrels, go with two barrels. All right. Uh, this also helps our rate of fire from 2.21 to 2.5. Our accuracy is actually even better with two barrels. So let's see what we can get away with. We'll put that up there. We got one in the front. And can we do a uh, main guns, side guns, same thing. Nine, double barrel. Let's see, it was just can't quite fit it on there, unfortunately. So that's as far forward as we can go. I was really hoping we could squeeze those wing turrets back on there. Uh, we may have to go with smaller main guns for those. Um, we need at least 15 main guns. Which is, is pretty insane, if we're honest. So, uh, I will be right back. Alright, and I am back. Sorry about that, I had to go to the bathroom. Anyway... I've got a better idea. Instead of using that, we've got this one up front. Let's go ahead and use uh, side guns, 9-inch double barrels. All right. That seems pretty legit. Um, to help with the uh, firing angles on these rear turrets, I think I might actually use a burbet. Ah, oh, I can't. I can't. I was thinking I could do it a little bit further forward. Or maybe... Maybe... Sorry, I know I'm taking a little longer to design this one, but there's a lot to this that I need to get right. Alright, let's put our barbette in the back. Just a medium superimposed. There we go. And also, why didn't this... Was that a uh, main gun? Side gun? Nine inch. Double barrel. Why isn't it freaking... I hate that it doesn't mirror sometimes. Like, there's no reason for it not to. It's got a starboard weight offset, even though they are pretty much identical in every way. Those are perfectly placed. How is that a starboard offset?
We definitely have a four weight issue, but seriously. There we go. Nothing changed at all, but for some reason the game is happy with that now. All right, so there's our front. We get six guns over the front. We can put uh, another one there. Uh, let's go with the wing turrets. Let's go back. Back. Side guns. All right, that's six over the rear. That's 12. We still need. More barrels. Can we put a turret in the mid? No, we can't. At least not one of those. Alright. So, technically... That gives us, even though these are more like secondaries, they are still technically main guns, just 6-inch main guns. And that meets the requirements. We have 6 here, 6 here, and 6 here, which is 18. 18 guns. Now, here's the problem. We're 400 tons overweight. Uh, we still have a 4-weight offset, which is not good. So... My guess is that we're going to have to take these guns here and move them back side guns nine two barrels All right, so that gives us only a 4.2% 4. 4. weight offset to the front. We do meet the requirements as no more than 15,000 tons there. We just got to get our weight under, uh, under control here. Uh, how are we going to do that? Well, we're going to lower our speed a little bit. That should help. Right there, 30. Let's just go straight 30 knots. Come on. There we go. 30 knots, top speed. It gives us a little bit of armor to play with. We need belt armor. Preferably all the belt armor. Okay, so eight and a half inch, roughly. Uh, Still not quite enough. Let's drop our top speed down some more. Take it to 28. That gives us a little bit more room. We're going to be able to increase our protection. I would love to have nice thick belt all the way. So we have 8 inches belt there. We're very close on weight now. Let's increase the deck. That's uh, about all we could get right there. 3.3. Can we get a little bit more? Let's go with 8.1. Yeah, 8.1 is the max. Uh, deck extended, can't quite increase. Nope. All right. So this is our ship, guys. Are we going to be able to pull it off? What's our name? 
Our name is La Lav La Lavia. That's not good enough. All right. What is the most Spanish name I can think of? Um. El Terrible. That seems like a great name. Because if you come across this, that's exactly what you'll think of it. <laughs> now, I don't think either of the wing turrets will be able to rotate. They'll be hitting one another. However, they will be very good at shooting over the rear or the front. So we should be very, very capable of defending ourselves. So let's get into this. It's going to be an interesting one for sure. For sure. I'm glad we were able to get some armor, too. Like, that that was major. Um, battlecruiser versus... Or, yeah, we're, we're against a battlecruiser, which looks pretty large, but not overly so. Heavy cruisers are medium. Light cruisers are pretty medium. Destroyers are tiny. So, I think we may be okay. Let's go ahead and turn towards the enemy. Let's reduce our speed to uh, 22 knots and speed up progress so that we can get these things turned in. We've already got a uh, bead on the battlecruiser. We've got 1,040 rounds of ammunition for the 9-inch guns uh, that are the, main gu or the wing turrets. Then we have 1,000... Or no, we have 520 rounds of 9-inch for the two super-firing turrets. And then the 6-inch guns have 1,200 rounds as well. So yeah, we're going to turn in. We are also going to make our formation abreast. Um, how do we do this? I forget. All right, here we go. Abreast. I want Prin Princessa de Astur uh, Asturias. Asturias. I apologize. Francesca, get up here. We need to march in together. We're already firing the guns, which is big. They are coming directly at us. Do they have torpedoes? I do not see torpedoes on the deck of the battlecruiser. We do have a torpedo launcher, two quad launchers on the deck of the heavy cruisers. The light cruisers do not appear to have deck mounted torpedoes. And the torp boats I can't even see because they're not detected yet. So let's go ahead and head back in here. Oh, they were able to rotate. Holy crap. That's awesome. We've already got a hit as well. Got a lot of firepower to bear. up to a 4% uh, firing solution. We took a hit. No real damage though. That was a little bit worse. I want to uh, spread out here. Let's go ahead and
Ah, heck with it. Let's go ahead and get rid of that light cruiser. Come on, baby. Thought I saw torpedoes. Got a good hit there. Got some flooding. Come on, baby. 24% chance to hit. We should murder this guy. Let's go. We got torps in the water. Turn hard to port. Slow down. close that was real close this guy's like I'll get behind him we should be able to do a lot more damage and take less you're wrong I've got the same amount of guns over the back. And he looks like he's about to sink, but you know how that goes. We're gonna keep firing until that man goes down. There's some more flooding. Look at how quick they pump it out. Why does AI get so much freaking anti-flooding capability? That's insane. More flooding. More flooding and down he goes. Got some flooding on him. Oh! Pop goes the weasel, down he goes. He ain't gonna be bailing that one out. That was a massive explosion. All right, two light cruisers down. We got the battle cruiser, two DDs, and a heavy cruiser to go. I've already gotten a hit on the light or on the one of the destroyers, so I'm liking our odds. Those guns are pretty nasty from their, uh... Battlecruiser has 12-inch guns. No torpedoes. The armored cruiser does have torpedoes, which we already talked about. It also has two underwater tubes, it looks like. And he has 9-inch guns as well. Come on, keep pushing forward, baby. And we got a flood that's gonna be big. It's gonna be real big. He also doesn't seem to have a whole lot of bulk hits, so that might already kill it. We'll see. If we can get some more hits, it'd be amazing. Come on, guys. Hit that destroyer. I said he was gonna sink, and you guys have barely even put it. He's already got it all gone. Dude, the, the AI gets such a buff to their freaking uh, anti torpedoes or anti flooding that it's actually insane. Okay, we're shooting at the second destroyer. We have changed course, so we're gonna dodge those torpedoes, hopefully. All right, I'm gonna need you to turn a little harder there, bud. I don't even want to chance it. There we go, good dodge. Big hit.
Alright, let's target the freaking destroyers and get rid of them. There we got a hit. Bouncing those big guns from the battle cruiser. We got a flood on the destroyer. Got a second flood on the destroyer. We got to keep our bow towards that big freaking battle cruiser out there. Come on, guys. Big hits and two more floods. Um, turn in. Oh, we got it. Dang it. I thought we were going to avoid it. And it knocked out our freaking steering, which is like the worst. Oh, and now we're broadside to that battle cruiser. Come on, guys. I need you to start hitting. Took a pretty big hit there. Come on, man. Hit that god dang destroyer. There we go. We got a fire. Got some flooding. Dude, the enemy's anti-flooding is so freaking broken every damn game that we do this. Like, it's just stupid. Like, they just pump it out instantly. Look at them. They're, they're able to pump it out faster than we can sink them. And that's stupid. It shouldn't be that way. And our guns are so fucking inaccurate that it doesn't make any sense either. Sorry for my language, but it's just frustrating. This is exactly what cost me in the last week's challenge. Like, you got one fucking guy that just refuses to die. Your ship can't seem to sink the damn thing. It's stupid. Two more floods or one more flood? Finally, he's gone. Oh, for fuck's sake. All right, pick our poison. Try to hit the gap, baby. Try to hit the gap. We got it. All right, turn in. We took some hitting or hits there, but we're okay. Would you freaking turn in, please? We got some flooding on the heavy cruiser. Nine percent chance to hit a heavy cruiser at point blank range.
Like, I don't understand how we're missing. It's a God bless and heavy cruiser. It's not a small target. All right, we got a hit. Come on. Hit the man. He's right over the bow. There we go. We got a little bit of a hit. Got a flood. Got a fire. I know he's about to get his torps back, so I'm a little bit hesitant here to continue to close. Shrugging off all those hits from the uh, battle cruiser. Oh my god, why are the guns so fucking inaccurate in this game? Blood on him. Got two more fires. We took a torp on the bow. Nothing we can do about it. Oh my god. Oh my god! I'm being double torped! The destroyer sank. We're still afloat somehow. I have no idea how we just survived that. Please, anti-flooding, do your thing. We got a huge, huge hit there. We're really pounding the Minotaur right now. They hit us for another flood. We've got another flood on the Minotaur. Down goes the Minotaur. One remains, baby! Against all odds, we are going to freaking pull this off. I have no idea how we've managed to survive, but you can see both El Terrible and Princesca have been absolutely pounded by the torpedoes. And I really expect these guys to put it on this battle cruiser now. He struggles to do anything to us. And we're kind of in the same boat. There we got some flooding. That's what we need. More of that, please. 25% chance to hit right now. Come on, baby. Okay, he did get a little bit of damage on us, but nothing crazy. It was the main tower. We're fine. 26% chance to hit. Come on, baby. Give me some more floods. Trying to maintain our angle, he's just bouncing and shattering off the side of our, our armor. We're at a crawl. I forgot. We need to go max speed. I forgot that we were actually slowing down for the torps. We can go faster. There we go. Another flood. Look at that, though.
Come on, baby. Bring it home, fellas. Oh, we just took a massive hit. We let ourselves get too flat to him. We paid the price. It's all right, though. We've we've taken worse. Let me go ahead and detach. Get you to go forward and turn in if you can. Because he's pounding us right now. This battle cruiser really wants to kill our guys. We need to get some more flooding hits, guys. Come on, El Terrible. I need you to turn in. Right now, he's capable of doing... What is his speed? I can't see his speed. He's doing 28 and a half knots, it says. All right, we have increased our angle. I mean, how terrible is in all kinds of bad ways. He's flooding, he's got, we got another flooding hit on him which is massive. Both of our cruisers have been absolutely mangled in this fight, mainly due to the torpedoes. He is starting to open up the, uh, we got another flood on him. At this point, Wondering if we're gonna run out of freaking ammunition. We are chiseling away at him. He is going down slowly. Come on, guys, give me a couple more floods and he's gone. And we can all go home. We got a flood. Is that going to be enough? Oh, no. We just took a massive hit. We're also flooding. We got another flood on him. Come on, boys. Sink him. We're getting real low on our uh, super firing 9-inch. We got another flood on him. At this point, he's just refusing to go down. We are taking way too many hits with El Terrible. Why are you not turning out, bro? Turn as hard as you can turn. Yes! We got him! We had, uh, crap. I didn't look, but I'm sure we can see it going back. Woo! That was a fight, guys. That was a fight. I think we did pretty good, though. We, we did really, really well. It's an interesting design. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. Let's take one final look at this absolute monster of a ship and just appreciate her real quick. El Terrible, well done. Well done. So, if you like what we're doing, punch the like button, leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and as always, I will see you in the next video.